Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm again here with my beautiful friend Claris. We shot a video just a few hours ago and you created my hair, my pony. So if you guys want to see that, watch that. It's amazing. And I created this makeup look on you today. So pretty. Obsessed. You never wear, she never wears a stitch of makeup. Every time we work together, we are on shoots, we travel not a stitch of makeup which i love on you but i wanted to do something fun so the glitter i think is so flirty and sexy it's i love it so you. much when you tell someone that wears no makeup that you're putting glitter on them it's like <laughs> slightly traumatizing for a second but obviously anything that you do is going to be amazing so when she showed me in the mirror i was like blown away i feel so good and i would yeah. wear this to any party like totally confident i don't feel like i'm like overdone in any way i feel like it's so fun and like the skin looks so clean i feel great i'm yeah, obsessed I mean, with this take the glitter off the way how we created your skin and everything else is something you can totally do on your own so keep on watching and we'll show you how to create this makeup look all right guys the first product i'm using is a tom ford foundation now you never wear any makeup ever when I work with you. Like she never has a stitch of makeup on. So I want to choose a foundation that is not too heavy. I really love this foundation. I've been using it a lot on myself lately. This is how it comes with these droppers. I'm just being lazy, but I'm putting it directly on her skin like that. You can also put it on a little palette or on your, on your hands first. And then I'm going to buff it in with my IT Cosmetics brush. Now, we just filmed this tutorial, you guys, and we just realized that we had no sound, so we are reshooting it. So if you're seeing little glitter parts right here, please excuse me, but we just literally shot it and we had no sound, so we're redoing it. Um, so I'm applying this all over her face, and what I love about this IT Cosmetics brush, it just sort of like buffs the product in and makes it look even more effortless and super light. Do I need that? You need that in your life. Okay, so for your brows, I'm going to use my favorite brow pencil. This one here is by Hourglass, and I think I made you buy this too, right? You're using this? Yeah. I'm obsessed with it and you know I'm not good at doing my brows so this makes it super easy. It makes it easy right but mm -hmm. the really nice archy mm -hmm. applicator and you can just sort of like draw little hairs on and it just makes it look really effortless. That's what I love about this pencil. I'm also going to brush them up. I've done your brows earlier already for the video. Guys there's another video if you haven't seen it. Clarice is doing my hair for holiday parties, so check that one out as well. So I'm just filling in your brows. I'm doing the other side. Again, I'm just sort of like doing fine little strokes upwards in the inner corner. I'm creating a little bit of an arch. And I'm also extending the brow outwards and make it a little bit longer. And then you have the spoon in the back and you can just comb it up and you can also make it look more effortless and natural. And then one more product on top of your brow, another hourglass product. I love the, the brow volumizing fiber gel. Now I that. this actually has fiber in it and it's colored and it just like creates fine little hairs on top of your hair and it makes your brows look even bushier than they are or fuller. You definitely need that. Now before we do your eyes, I'm going to zoom in with the camera so you can see a little bit better. Now the product I chose for you is this guy. It's House Laboratories. It's Lady Gaga's new product. I love her cream eyeshadows. They're awesome. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side. I'm applying this cream. There is this weave blower in the back, you guys. I'm so sorry, but it's been going on forever, so I'm not going to stop shooting. Um, so this has a really great spongy applicator, as you can see. And then I let you keep your eyes closed so it can dry. You can also use your finger or a brush to sort of like dab into it to make it dry faster. And it depends on what intensity you want this to look. 
you can layer it and maybe do like two or even three layers of that. I'm going to do two today. So I'm going to go back in and do one more layer on each side. Oh, it's just so creamy and gorgeous. Clarice is not a person who wears a lot of makeup, so I better ease her into it. <laughs> <laughs> one step at a time. One step at a time. And I'm not matching. A lot of people are gonna be like, why is she not matching with her outfit? But I feel like this rose gold sort of goes with everything. You don't always have to match. I mean, you could do a, a silver eyeshadow, which would look really cool too, but I decided to do this rose gold on you. All right, next step. This is something I've never seen you with before. It's an eyeliner, but I'm using an eye pencil. And I'm really loving this brand called Abel. And uh, it's a makeup artist here in Los Angeles who created this line. I love it because it comes with like a little sharpener in the front it's so smart. and it has a little brushy in the back. So what I'm doing is close your eye. I'm going to nestle the pencil in here and I'm sort of just like painting your lash, your inner waterline with the pencil. So I love doing it this way, especially for someone like you who never really wears a liner but this is sort of like cheating people won't know that you're wearing a liner but it looks really sexy i think and it gives like your lash line like more depth and that's what i love about this technique um, i think what's really important what people forget that you really bring it in here in the inner corner so the difference you can see what i'm talking about it's just like much more like it just gives like a really nice intensity to your eye. I'm going to do it on here close and I'm also going to go again in the inner corner of your eye right in here. This part is super important. It just like really just does something to the eye. That's your look. Like we gotta have to do this all the time now on you. Love I'm just it. gonna come over when I'm going anywhere. <laughs> Same with me. <laughs> Grace. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> we'll meet in the middle somewhere. Yeah. Open up. And then if it travels down, I just take a little Q-tippy. Q-tippy, is that a word? Mm -hmm. Q-tippy. It is now. And I'm just cleaning her under eye area. Now let the fun part begin. Now, and this is something you definitely have never done before. Oh. This is glitter. Um, I didn't have silver. I know that lemon head makes silver, but that's why I sort of like I chose love this one now. Because it does have actually silver inside, if you guys see on the camera. You can I like see. It. It's not like perfect. So it's magic. rose gold silver, and I think it'll match really well with your eye shadow we chose and your your jacket. But lemon head, let's just talk about this brand. It's so cool. It's this girl from LA who um, created this brand. So it's like a gel. It's like, and what I like, so see. Yeah, like nothing comes out and I hate when you work with glitter and it's all over the place and it's on your fingers, it's on your clothes and this is like super easy to use. You do need a special brush with it. This one is by Glossier. This just has like a silly silicone tip and it really holds the glitter in place. So see how it like picks it up? So it's almost like I'm gonna spatula that on your eye. I know this sounds really weird but you kind of have to work in sections and I'm sort of like creating a liner on your upper eyelid with this glitter. What's really important is that you close your eyes for this and don't open because it has to dry. So I'm applying it in sections. So I start sort of on the outer corner And I'm, if you can feel, I'm sort of like just pressing it on. Instead of rubbing it, I'm just pressing it. So it's really important to let it dry for a few seconds. You know, this is also not like, it's okay if it moves around a little bit, the glitter. It's not meant to be like super perfect. And once you start blinking and opening up your eye, the glitter is definitely going to work on its own and it's going to go on your lid as well. But I think that's the cool part about it. So now it should be dried. It looks so good on you. 
I can't wait for you to see those. Thank you. I just think glitter is so fun. And I think glitter, there's no age limit. People always like, well, maybe I should just wear glitter when I'm younger. But I wear glitter. I, I just think it's, what I love about it, it's a conversation piece. And if you're like at a party and you wear this, people are going to be like, what are you wearing on your eye? I, I just think it's gorgeous. I agree. And there's but a way to do it that's so sophisticated, too. There's a way of doing it, like, you know, you have to keep the rest sort of simple. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do one coat of mascara. You already have a coat on from earlier when we were shooting our other video. So I'm using the same brand, Able, which looks like that. Isn't this so cool? Yeah, what is So that? what this is, which I can't do right now because you're wearing the glitter, but you can literally hold it and then paint your, oh. your, your uh, mascara on. That's so really smart. cool, cool um, tool. It go on super evenly, huh? And I really like this mascara. I've been using it a lot. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to go in with my Kaleco concealer. This one is in the pen form. That's easy. And I'm just going to clean up underneath your eyes. Especially when you wear glitter or something like that. It's always good to do it afterwards. All right, I'm gonna come back with my IT Cosmetics brush. I love it because it has two sides. So on the areas where it's bigger, you can go with the bigger side, around your nose, around your mouth. I use my smaller angle. Okay, a little bit of powder for you. Um, I'm using the press powder by Clay Pearl. And you definitely tend to be a little bit more on the oily side. Yeah. So you're someone, when I put on powder, probably 10 minutes later, you're gonna be oily again. So I love, I love oily skin. I, I'm not afraid of oily skin at all. And what you just have to do is, if you get really oily, just use some blotting papers when you're out at a party. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but don't over powder because all it does it just creates layers of powder, mm -hmm. and then you ended up you then you end up looking really cakey at the end of the night. So I would recommend having blotting papers with you. Okay, for a little bit of contour, I'm gonna use my Fenty. I really like this one because it's super easy to use. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit more of a chisel. I never know how far in to go when I contour. You know what's a good tip? Hmm. Don't go in too far because when you go too far it looks dirty. Kind of go where your middle of your eye where pupil is and that's where you stop. So helpful. Look at me straight. And then you can even bring it down your nose. And now you look crazy. But I promise you so. I'm going to blend it in. So I'm going to come back with my IT brush and I'm just sort of like buffing it in. The beauty blender works really well for this too. For the nose, sorry, I'm going to use my finger or you could use a beauty blender as well. Or you can use this side of this brush. Okay, and now I'm gonna go over with a little bit of a powder. This is actually a blush, but I love almost like oh, for contour as well. Mm -hmm. I love the color. It doesn't look anything like in the pen, but once you apply it, it just, I love the finish. Purposely, I'm not using a, a, a highlighter because I feel like you already have oily skin, there's glitter happening, there's a lot, there's the shiny material. So we're keeping it super simple. But you can see how all these colors are so cohesive, they all sort of blend in together. And now I'm gonna use another rose gold product. This here is by Tom Ford, obsessed with this lipstick. It's just the most unique um, coloring. It really I love is. it. I actually used this on Gemma Chan for Met Ball. This oh, lipstick really? yeah and it just does something to the lip it just gives a little bit of shimmer but it's still matte so I'm just dabbing it on instead of rubbing love this finish it all ties in with everything love this look so much on you can't wait for you to see I it I can't wait to see it <laughs> do you want to see what you look like yes because I never see you with makeup 
Ta-da! Oh my god. Monica, this looks so good on you. Fun, I look right? amazing. <laughs> it looks great. This looks... I'm obsessed. Isn't it gorgeous on you? Yes. I love it on you. Like, obviously I trust you so much. And when you said glitter, I was like, oh, okay. Like, that's never something yeah. I would ever pick for myself. But, like, I would 1 million percent wear this, like, so comfortably. It's so fun at a party. You get so many compliments. Well, but everyone out we'll there find out. can recreate this now. Oh, my God. The skin? This is... I... I'm obsessed. Thank you. Like, really obsessed. This is amazing. All right, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this makeup look. It was so much fun working with you. Boys. And there's also a giveaway in the hair tutorial we did on myself. So if you, there's still time. There's still 24 hours left. So if you want to enter that, watch Clara's Create My Pony in the video, which we're going to link up there. And just leave us some comments. Don't forget to follow her on Instagram. And we're going to leave all the information in the description box. Follow me on Instagram at Monica blunder and we wish you happy holidays happy holidays bye bye